guys, it's Kate here with four rapid mystery reviews for you. These are the four mysteries that I read in the second half of the month of April. The first one I'll tell you about is Whose Body by Dorothy Sayers, and this is the first in the Lord Peter Whimsy series. This is a what they call a golden era or golden age mystery written at the same time that Agatha Christie was writing, and unfortunately I had a feeling I might not enjoy this that much, and I because I don't enjoy Agatha Christie's writing, I feel that the mysteries are very surface level, and you don't really get to know the heart and soul of the victims or the uh, killers. So <clears throat> I, uh, it's more just a puzzle. And I know that's really for some people, but just personally, I don't really enjoy it as much. So I um, didn't enjoy this as much. In fact, a couple times I almost DNF'd it. And this was a buddy read with Kate from the novel Nomad, and she kind of was really lagging too. And but the mystery is pretty interesting, the actual crime. There is a corpse found in a, a bathtub, and no one in the building where the corpse is found knows this person. They have no idea how they got there. So Lord Peter Whimsy is a lord, obviously, and socialite, and he takes it upon himself to investigate this crime. So, like I said, Lord Peter Whimsy just felt like he was held at arm's length. He felt very aloof. There were some very funny moments, so I really did enjoy the humor. And I was telling someone how I wasn't really enjoying it all that much. And this person who's a really big fan of Dorothy Sayers said, you have to wait until book six, which is called Strong Poison. So I'm planning on try trying out Strong Poison. And she said one of the main reasons that people like Strong Poison a lot is a really beloved character that becomes a regular in the series enters the series in that book. So I will be trying out another Dorothy Sayers because I know she is a really excellent writer and I would like to give another one of her mysteries a try. The next mystery I'll tell you about is uh, Wicked Autumn by G.M. Malliott, and this is the first in the Max Tudor series. Max Tudor is a former MI5 agent and now a vicar in the very small sleepy town of Never Monk Slip. And what was interesting and kind of a fun element about this was it felt... Uh, very modern. It is modern, and one of the things that was modern was that there was a Wiccan in it. So there were some really interesting dynamic conversations that uh, the vicar, Max Tudor, had with the Wiccan priestess. And so that was um, something that was really just an interesting dynamic to have in a mystery. And in this town of Never Monk Slip, there's a woman who's pretty much detested and hated by everyone named Wanda, and she ends up being found murdered, and so Max Tudor takes it upon himself to investigate this. And so this ended up being sort of a middling mystery for me, and it was, it felt halfway between a cozy and halfway between a hard-boiled and gritty, and like it was trying to be uh, like Louise Penny with the character analysis, but it just didn't quite get there for me, or there was just something a little bit lackluster about it. So... I do want to try the series because I do love the idea of a priest being, uh, you know, a private investigator. And so I'll definitely try out the next one, especially because they're available as audiobooks. And so I can go through one of those in two or three days, no problem. And then the next mystery I'll tell you about is by Elizabeth Peters, and that is The Curse of the Pharaohs. This is the second in the Amelia Peabody series. This was another buddy read with Kate from the novel Nomad, and this was so much fun. I didn't enjoy it quite as much as the uh, first Amelia Peabody, but I think that's because um, just the dynamic of the series really just totally took me by surprise in the first one. And so this was definitely still good and enjoyable. And you get to see Amelia and Emerson married and traveling around. And they have a son named Ramses, who is quite the character. But he's not a huge part of this because Amelia and Emerson go to Egypt a little into the book to investigate a suspicious death of Lord Baskerville. Lady Baskerville asks them, asks them to come and so they go investigate. And so this wasn't really a surprising or shocking ending. And I didn't really mind that, though, because there, you know, there are different styles of mysteries. And so I like that, that you can have some that the ending is always has to be shocking and, you know, surprising like a Ruth Randall. You can have ones where, oh, I could see how that character did that. And so there was lots of humor, as there was in the first one, and making me laugh out loud. The sense of humor is just exactly my sense of humor and um just really catching me off guard with how funny it is I forgot how funny it could be and so I just really enjoyed the humor in this and uh, I just Amelia and Emerson just really in um 
just make this series for me. And so I really enjoyed seeing them together. And I'm just so looking forward to reading more in the series. And then the last one that I read and I finished very late last night was The Brutal Telling by Louise Penny. And this is the fifth in the Armand Gamache Three Pines series. And Armand Gamache is a detective for the uh, Quebec, uh, you know, police uh, department. And the little town of Three Pines ends up calling him, you know, to their cases. And so there is a body found in the bistro that is owned by the couple Olivier and Gabri. And so Gamache is called and he has to figure out, was a person killed in the bistro or was their body taken from somewhere else? If it was, where were they killed? And obviously who killed them? So this was a really interesting and hard hitting one. And this was a risky one for Louise Penny to write. And just basically no characters are safe. And I really enjoyed getting to know characters that I hadn't in other books. And that's what I really like about this series is you're slowly really getting an in-depth knowledge of each character as the series goes along and characters that you didn't even know that you wanted to get to know more. So it was highly enjoyable and it, this might end up being my favorite from the series and it was, uh, like I said, the fifth in the series and I'm really looking forward to continuing on with the series and it's just really fun to see. Louise Penny is very active on Facebook and so she's posting constantly about her writing and the next ones that will be coming out. So I highly recommend that if you like a more hard-boiled, gritty, hard-hitting series. I hope you guys enjoyed those rapid reviews and I look forward to telling you about the mysteries I will be reading in the month of May and I will see you for another video.